Hello and welcome again. Today I will discuss an exciting and very rare coin struck and issued in Lucania, southern Italy. The coin is attributed to a city called Sirinos. This stator with an ink used design and struck to the Achaean weight standard is typical for coinage from the 6th century BC in southern Italy and was also employed in nearby Metapontium and Croton. It is an intriguing and historically interesting issue of which very few examples are known, with only two specimens recorded from this pair of dice. Before I continue this story, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the auction company Roma Numismatics in London for allowing me to use their high quality images for this video. This stator shown here is a testament to the alliance of two cities, Sirinos and Pyxos. The word Sirinos, known only from the numismatic record, was at one point considered as an adjective referring to the wealthy city of Sirius on the Ionian coast, which was destroyed by the alliance of Sybaris, Metapontion and Croton in the early 6th century BC. However, partly because of the great distance between Siris and Pyxos, it is now thought possible that Sirinos is in fact the name of a city in its own right, likely that of the Sirini people of whom Pliny the Elder writes in his description of the southern Italy. However, it is nevertheless important to point out that the events Pliny describes in his Encyclopedic Naturalis Historia took place over 500 years earlier, as he himself, a Roman author, lived in AD 23 to 79. For a long time, we had no exact idea of the identity of the city for which the coins were minted, and, strangely enough, no conclusive evidence for the location of the main settlement have been proposed. But lately, ruins attributed to Sirinos have been identified on a rocky peak in the valley of Lauria near Rivello, which are still referred to as the city, and which geographically would make considerably more sense than Sirius, being only approximately 30 kilometers away from Pyxos. Pyxos itself was an ancient Lucanian city situated at the Tyrrhenian coast, today Policastro, Busentio, and reported by Diodorus Siculus as have been founded by Mikotos, the tyrant of region, and saint clair Messana in 471 BC, possibly as a military outpost. The extent of Pyxos territory is uncertain, but it's hard to conceive it as being autonomous. Both cities must inevitably have come under the influence of Sibaris, an important city which amassed proverbial great wealth and power due to its fertile land and advantageously positioned port. When you first look at the coin from Sibaris, you are not sure what the letters on the coin represent. If you read them as usual, it says VM, which makes no sense and is difficult to connect to the city. But when you understand that the letters are engraved backwards or retrograde and are turned and instead should be read as SY, the letters M is an S and the letter V is a Y, the letters SY then form the first two letters in the city's name, namely Sibaris. On the coins struck during the Archaic period, the inscriptions are slightly different compared to those from the later Classical period. For one thing, they are often retrograde and the letters are also often reversed or turned. Some letters also differ in the design, especially the letter I, which is written as an S. The most deviant letters are illustrated here. To return to the main topic of this video, the Sirinos and Pyxos alliance coinage, this type of a bull with head reverted and an incused reverse is directly derived from the contemporary Sybaratic coinage. The similarities extending as far as the details of the dotted ground line and the reverse ray border. The Danish researcher from the Royal Coin Cabinet in Copenhagen, Helle Horsnes, suggests a division into four main groups of this coin type based on die identification. In total, she has identified 44 coins in public and private collections, and they are divided into following four groups. 
Group 1 with the legends Sirin Dash OS Retrograde on the obverse and Pux Retrograde on the reverse is known from 15 coins all produced according to Horsnes from one or possibly two obverse dice and four reverse dice. Group 2 with the legends Sirinu Dash S Retrograde on the obverse and Puxu Dash ES Retrograde on the reverse contains three staters all struck from the same pair of dice. Group 3 with the legends Siri dash Nos retrograde on the obverse and Puxo dash ES is known only from a single coin in the British Museum. Group 4 with the legend Siri dash Nos retrograde on the obverse and Pux dash OES on the reverse has been identified with 25 staters and is the largest group but there appears to be only one obverse die responsible which Horsness has identified as the same single die used in group 3. In the Journal of the Numismatic Association of Australia in 2015 the authors Shidi et al. writes about an incused stater from the series of Sirinos Pyxos where they, among other things, wish to contribute some thoughts on this coin type, which is closely associated with Sibaris, and they write. Its use has led to the conclusion that the mints which produced these rare coins were all part of an empire or alliance ruled by Sibaris. If the Sirinos Pyxos coins were struck by a people who identify themselves as being off Cyrus, it seems odd that they should use the type of estate which participated in the destruction of the formerly prosperous city. And yes, I absolutely agree with this assessment. It is far more likely that the Sirinus Puxus issues are closely related to Sybaris rather than an independent issue. Helle Horsnes, on the other hand, has proposed that Sirinus Puxus coins and other related series with the bull type of Sibaris may have been indigenous issues produced with the intent of promoting identity. While Horsnes' suggestion is certainly possible, why would an independent city use the same motifs and styles as Sibaris, the leading city in the region, if they was trying to promote their own identity? Furthermore, naming two different communities on the same coin bearing the same borrowed Sibaris image might have further obscured their separate identities. One uh, could of course claim that the Sirinus Pyxus just copied the coins of Sibaris type without attempting to make some alteration or addition to the type. But this is also a weak argument for an independent city. But of course this has occurred in many other places and times. Copying coins is a standard practice. For instance, in the Scandinavian countries during the Viking Age, it was in full swing to copy the English coins in Sweden, Norway and Denmark. And they were most certainly independent of England. However, the distance between England and Sweden was much greater than between Sibarius and Sirinos Pyxos. These thoughts and suggestions regarding this rare coin issue as to who the issuing authority was and where these coins once were struck may conclude this video. I hope you find this video interesting and to help others with a historical and or numismatic interest watch this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. It is free to subscribe and you don't commit to anything nor will you receive any unwanted emails or offers from me. And you can, whenever you want, end your subscription. By subscribing, liking and sharing, you help YouTube's and Google's algorithms to rank up this video and thus make it easier for others with a similar interest to view this video. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell to get notified when I publish new video on YouTube. Thank you for watching.